Hey there, and welcome to today's video. For today's video, we have a bit of an odd one, I'd say. So this one, I actually started before last week's video was even, well, started. But I finished it off after the video was already done. So this one was built kind of in two parts, and there's also kind of two parts that are going on here. So the first one was that I wanted to build a pool lot, which I kept looking and it doesn't seem like there's actually a community lot for a pool in base game. I'm not sure if that's something that came around with packs. I think it was probably one of the first few packs since that was around the time the update for the pools came out. In case you did not know, pools were not a thing when Sims 4 came out. They actually came out in an update. Much like platforms weren't originally in the Sims. So what I wanted to build this time around was kind of a house that was underneath a pool. But I also wanted to make it a really weird shape. So I wanted to have a lot of angles and I wanted to have to work around them. But I also wanted it to not look like there would be a house underneath this pool. So what I had in mind when building this pool house was I don't know if any of you have ever been to a really big kind of like a splash park a pool area there are some that they try to make it look very tropical and they'll have boulders around the place and sometimes they'll even have palm trees and whatnot so I very much wanted this to look like one of those type of pools that will have boulders and all of a sudden there's water coming out of them but I also wanted it to be very clearly a pool, so I didn't put a lot of palm trees or any of them for that matter. I ended up putting floor all over the lot. I believe it was just a type of brick. And on the outside, there were bathrooms, and even one of the bathrooms was a debug bathroom, which yes, it does work. Side note, I playtested the whole build and everything works, so there's nothing that should be breaking on you. I even hid a mailbox and I put bins around the lot since even if this was just a regular public pool you would still have bins either way so I didn't think that was way too out of line to expect to see some bins here and there. What I don't believe I added this time around was actually grills since that wouldn't make any sense if you were in an actual pool but I did add some fridges with the idea of these are supposed to be vending machines. Again, this is 100% a base game build, so something like a vending machine didn't come through until I believe Snowy Escape was the first one to actually have a vending machine. And unfortunately in base game there aren't things like the food stalls or things like that that you would find maybe in city living. But there is plenty of space to sit around, much like a regular public pool would have. So I had a lot of fun building it because it was kind of two builds in one. It was a whole pool aspect on the top side of the build, and then on the bottom side of the build, it was the actual house being built. So for the outside, even though there are bathrooms already that your sims could use, I ended up building my own as well, first to give them a bit more structures and make it look a bit more like a public pool, and secondly to have showers on the lot. There weren't any showers. And I really would have liked to have the university showers, since those are just the shower head and the knobs. So with that, I could have put some on the outside and make it look even more like a public pool, where you would just rinse off before going into the water. But that's not a thing we really have here. Now the downstairs, since I built everything upstairs first, I built the pool, and I also built the tunnels along with it. So the tunnels, or the light tunnels, were just to have natural light coming through on the actual build. There's really no other purpose besides that, but I did like what it looked like on the pool upstairs. So that was all I had for downstairs. I had the light tunnels and I had a general layout. I didn't really want to stray too far from what the shape of the pool itself was, but I did bump out some areas here and there just to make it make a little bit more sense. Since, again, there's a lot of angles, and whenever you're working on angles in The Sims, that also means that there's a lot of areas that are either tight or things don't really line up properly. For example, when I'm building the kitchen, there's a lot of areas where I'm fiddling around with where the counters are, and you'll even see that the fridge is very tight against the counters, and so is the stove. 
And that is just because of the placement whenever you're working on angled walls. It ended up working out, and again, I play tested everything, everything works, so that wasn't really an issue at the end of the day. It just becomes a bit of a challenge for sure. The house itself is something that even if this was strictly on a lot by itself, without the pool on the top making it that little bit funnier, I still think this was a really nice build. I loved the fact that there was a lot of angles. I tend to build a lot of squares whenever I'm building houses. And this one had a layout I probably wouldn't have done if I hadn't thought of where the bathrooms would be and where the bedrooms would be first. I think the kitchen would have been in a completely different spot and so would the dining room, so would pretty much everything. It seemed a bit tight when I was first building it and I was thinking, would this be enough space in an actual house? And ironically enough, I think this is the first house that I built that is most realistic in its, oh, this is probably a square footage that you would find. So this is actually four bedrooms, and the kitchen is probably way bigger than what you would find in a house of this size. But I rather like that because you end up with two sitting areas for eating. So you have the island, and you also have the dining room. And you even end up with the living room right there. So your sims have a lot of spaces where they're going to choose to eat. Mostly they're going to choose the island because they'll just go to whatever seating is closest. But it also makes it a really open concept, which I was really a fan of. I always say this whenever I'm building houses in The Sims, but it's really true. I would really like to live in one of these houses itself and test it out, live in it, see if it's actually as nice as I think it would be. Which, yes, I could just get some Sims, live in here for a bit, and I actually did do that when I was playtesting the house. I find myself playing more in the house as I'm playtesting than just making sure everything works and playtesting it that way. I think it's because the Sim that I used to use for playtesting most of my houses is now an elder. Time has just kept going for that Sim. And I kind of probably felt bad about that. It's, it's a Sim that lived its whole life just to test houses and never actually lived in it. So I've been using that sim a lot in a lot of these houses and just playing in the house itself. Now you'll see me placing some stuff here and there and wondering if it's actually going to work or not, which again don't worry about it, I did play test everything and everything works, so it's gonna be fine. I also made sure there was no clipping. I ended up putting a lot of the plants downstairs to make it feel a bit more like you're outside, Clearly you're underground, but you do have light panels and might as well make it look a bit more than just green turf out there. But a lot of that was clipping inside the house. It'll be clipping outside, but technically that's underground. It's unexcavated ground, so it's going to be fine. I also ended up putting some curtains here and there at the end of the day. I was really doubting whether to put these or not. But a lot of the light tunnels will be a matter of you have bedrooms and a bathroom going to the same light tunnel. Would you want that? IRL? My guess is no. But anyways, we are getting close to the end of the video. Again, this video was supposed to be uploaded about three weeks ago, and I'm just uploading it now. So there are some things that I probably would have done differently. There are some things that I probably would have done the same. But what I can tell you for sure is this house seemed so small compared to my last build. My last build was just ginormous. Let's put it that way. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know what you thought of it down below. Was it too weird of a build? I've seen a lot of these underground ones and I've always wanted to do one, so hey, I got my fill. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in the next video. Have a great weekend!